Right here I'm at Stinky Woods. I had to come and do another video. I thought, I need to drive. I need to get out. <laughs> I just need to get out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Even driving down, listening to that pra praise and worship. Oh, my Lord. Even though, yeah, I'll be honest, I did get annoyed with the car in front. It was letting all the cars come out in front of him. I mean, I had to wait and, oh. I let one or two out sometimes, but that many? I don't just sit there and let one or two out. As I'm pulling up and there's a chance to let them out, I, yeah, wave them through and they come out. <laughs> you're trying to be nice to those people, but you're actually holding other people back. Yeah, you know, behind you. So it's, oh, I got quite annoyed with that. <laughs> it's like, okay, sorry, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I got the present worship on. I should just be glad to have more time with that. Really, without having to focus on the road, shouldn't I? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's still work to be done. There's still work to be done. I can still get annoyed with silly things. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Lord. Wow. Oh yeah sure. Yeah. That video earlier. My God. What a video. Oh. It's not online yet because I got the other one that's quite big. That I done at the um Spiny Palace this morning, that one's still going. It's 32 gigs, so that's taken a while. Um, the one I did indoors is a lot less, so that'd go on quite quickly. Um, but yeah, just to start the video because I've been talking to God about that basically, as I sort of said in that, as I sort of said in the one before, but I say it again. Yeah, I have been sort of saying to God, testing the whole thing really. Testing this with God. Basically saying, look, if, if it's me that's done this, if it's me that's put her here, take her away. It's not right, it has to go because it's not you. If it's not you, take it away. It's not right for me to go down here and if she cottons on with the videos, I'm talking about her and it's not her, well, it shouldn't be her. I don't want to give her the impression or the hope, if she's got the hope, I don't want her to feel that there's some, you know, we're at the same church and she doesn't have to deal with this right now and oh, oh but then while doing that video god then says well have you ever thought about her in the wrong way it's like no and as soon as i said no boom it hit it hit yeah i, I nearly fell to the floor you know, it just hit. It was, oh, bang, smash. You know, pfft, and it's like, yeah, okay. Then it went into the fact that the reason why it's hard, the reason why it's so, yeah, how want I put it? Um, you know, like your whole, your whole being is crying out to be with this woman now. The reason why that's the case is because you've always been a half. You've never been a whole. But now you're so close to being with the person who's going to make you whole. You know, your body knows now. Your, your being knows it's only a half. It needs her. And that's why it's so painful waiting. So, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Then I was talking about the fact of not really uh, fearing it. And then God, bang, another one. Another blinking gem. You can't lose what belongs to God. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> it's so right, you can't. If you give that relationship, if you give the heart, as in the two of you, to God, then it belongs to God, not you. Wow. Just incredible. I was listening to that song afterwards, that um, God Only Knows song again, because, oh, that is such a good song. 
Oh, such a good bloody song. And right at the end, I think it is. Um, the lady is singing for the... I can't remember what, what exactly the, the thing it is. Um, for the blame, for the people to blame, for the guilty, that sort of stuff. And when I was listening to that, for just a second, just a second... God put on my heart his love for those that are lost. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that was taken off after a second. I'm so glad that was taken off after a second because that was, oh, that would have had me on the floor and stayed on that floor for weeks. Now, there's people who are called to minister to those people who have a heart for them. All I can say to those people is that, yeah, for some of you, your heart is breaking because you have a heart for these people. God has put on you the heart that he has for them. And, yeah, just a little while longer just a little while longer that's what I'm feeling from God well that just a little little while longer for that but also my God in that other song uh, God is with us uh, one of the opening lines is dare to imagine and I could never ever ever have dared to imagine Well, it's not only this, it's not only you know, what God has put in my heart, this woman, which is bloody incredible. It's not only that, it's the fact that I know that the possibilities, I was quite creative in my imagination for what the possibilities would be, moving forward to the church and that sort of stuff. I'm nowhere near nowhere near I didn't get anywhere near what the possibilities are even the possibilities of God's blessings and the level of God's blessings and I'm standing here with my mouth open aghast I never imagined never imagined I shared previously that Rob had sent me that bit of wood where he painted on, the, on, on it and then put it the back that God's going to turn this wasteland into a paradise I don't think he imagined not really he imagined something but yeah <laughs> I mean look well one thing I know and one thing that um, I'm going to have to speak to her about Certainly put it this way, if this is God, and we have a conversation, one of the first things I've got to say to her is, look, the reality is, most people, even Christians, won't understand this. They won't. If we're going to do things completely God's way, if we're going to trust God completely, if we're going to give it to God, if we're going to put God completely at the centre of our relationship, if we're going to walk according to his kingdom, most Christians would not understand this. They wouldn't. They would say we're over the top, we're, we're going too far. We're, you know. They would because it's not what they know. If they knew it, they'd be doing it, right? Yeah? There's going to be a little bit of fight back because, you know. Yeah. But you know what? Then it's up to God to show all these naysayers. It's up to him. It's not up to me, it's not up to her. It's up to God to do that. It's up to God to just show these people how when you do things that way, how incredibly blessed you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know anyone who's done things this way? No. No. That's the reason I am to a certain degree, yeah, a little bit sort of unsure 
Although in the video earlier that I did at Spiny Palace, I was saying that I don't know how to walk that way, and then I basically described how you do it. So to a certain degree, I know how. <laughs> I just don't know I know how. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said twice in that video that I didn't know how. And then I basically said, well, yeah, if you can just do this, and what the just do this bit is how, really. So, yeah. Oh, Lord. I'll put it this way. You can't imagine how incredibly reassuring it is. Yeah, when God just helps you to understand why it's so hard. And when he tells you, it just... Yeah, okay. That's yeah, just so blinking obvious. Right, okay. Thank you for that, Lord. That is... Yeah, okay. That's... Yeah, okay. And then the point about why you're not worried about losing. Because according to the world system, if you get someone so... Here we go again. My level of language is not up to it. I was in the car thinking about it. And I think... The only words I know are expletives. If you're talking about level of amazingness, you put an expletive before you put the word amazing or something to describe just how incredibly amazing it is. I don't have any other words. Not yet. Hopefully God will help me to gain a better, <laughs> a better choice of words to explain such incredibleness. But, yeah, from the world's point, if you are given someone so absolutely incredible, you would be constantly concerned about losing that person. Doing something, having an argument, you know, um, doing something to cause her to not trust you and then you've lost the relationship. You'd fear that, right? But even, even now, there's no confirmation from anyone at all that she's the one. I've not spoken to her. As far as I know, she doesn't know. As far as I know, that uh, if I see her Sunday, she would just you know, react to me as you know, someone she's spoken to once or twice, and that's it. Yeah. She's not going to react to me in any other way than that. That's quite possible. Now, to a certain degree, that would be uh, tough. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm not worried about it. You know, things don't have to happen on Sunday. They don't have to happen. Yeah, would it be fantastic if it did? Absolutely. It'd be absolutely marvellous if it did. But it doesn't have to. Because my, my trust is in God. I've tested this. I've tested this, and I've tested this, and I've tested this, and I've tested this. And, you know, the wisdom that God has shared with me when I've tried to test it, it's basically just, you know, there couldn't be more. If, if, if I put a hundred mats out and said, right, Lord, this one, this one, this one will be wet, the rest will be dry, the next day, this one, this one, this one will be dry, the rest will be wet. I could do that a thousand times. Yeah, okay, not, okay, not a thousand times. It wouldn't be giving me greater confirmation than what I've got already. Not really. Plus, I've got a uh, plastic over my area, so that would be quite difficult to get 100 mats wet or 96 wet and four dry. Um, because there's a plastic covering to stop the air from flooding because of the floods. <sighs> oh, it's incredible. But even the point of that um, on YouTube, on the right-hand side is suggested videos, and it had Christian hits, so I clicked on it. 
That's when I first heard that song, God is with, for God is with us. It's like, wow. And that song has been really incredibly helpful recently. And when I hear that song, I'm thinking, with what God is doing, with what I think God is going to do, that song is going to be a fantastic anthem for what's coming, what God's going to do. That is such an incredible song for that. It really is. Listen to it. Imagine that you're at a massive Christian event and God's going to do incredible work there and that song is playing as things start to happen. Oh, 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 oh. I can't think of a better song. I cannot think of a better song than that, really. It is absolutely brilliant. And then you've got the uh, God Only Knows one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wow. Of course, then there's uh, Here's My Heart one by Casting Crowns. I found that one the other day, and that's been such a blessing as well to find that one. I've got all their albums, but that song, I don't know where that song's from. It's not from one of their albums, as far as I know, because I've, I've looked and I didn't find it on there. There's that noisy plane again. Really, again, your timing is terrible. No, it's just been absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're now my top songs in my Messages playlist. The Messages playlist means songs that have a Christian message. They're the top three songs now. So whenever I get in the car and I play those messages, the first three songs that play are those. And just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous songs. Talk about you know, getting you to focus on God. Whoa. But that's God doing it. It's God leading me to that song, Here's My Heart, and then while playing that quite a few times on YouTube, you then get the you know, Christian mix, and then that brings out the other songs. The four king and country songs. So, yeah. That's God doing it. Well, especially as their song God is with us was right near the top of that playlist. If it was down at the bottom, I just wouldn't have gone because even that playlist, there's a lot of songs that I just wouldn't bother with. Yeah, they're just not very good. Not, not to me. They just don't speak to me. So after a while, I just would have given up. But that song was right at the top. A group that I've never heard of. But I said, okay, let's see what this one is like. And it's like, that's the one that God says, yeah, you need that one. That's the one you need. That's going to help you. <laughs> okay. No, it's just absolutely, you know, as I say. <sighs> On a daily basis. Yeah, you know, today, that, certainly put it this way, for that video indoors earlier, that's put today right up there. You know, on God's blessings. Poof. There was no, as I say, I don't, I don't try and work out what I'm going to say. Not at any point in time. And in that one, it was gone. It was God coming in and saying, here you go, there's, there's that little bit, there's that little bit. That answers that, that answers that. There you go. Oh. See, that's an incredible blessing, that is. Let me put it this way. If you're one of those people that is lost, is wanting to find a way to God, wanting maybe to come to church or if you know someone who's in that situation that you've been praying for
God's going to be doing stuff. God's going to be... Yeah. Well, basically, we know in the Word of God, it says the bride made herself ready. We're not ready. Not yet. Not only are we not ready, I mean, I've realised even today how far I thought the church was away from where we need to be. Again, I wasn't even close. What I'm starting to understand now about God, we were nowhere near. I underestimated it massively because I didn't know about God. I didn't know exactly how much God wants to bless his people. Yeah? But that also means we can get there so much quicker. Because it's not about us getting there. It's about us accepting God. All we have to do is a decision. All it is is a decision. That's all we're going to do, we who are saved, is make a decision. We're just going to let God in and let God do what he wants to do. Simple, really. It's not simple because of the fact that there's all those years where we didn't do it and there's that guilt and where the devil's trying to get in there and saying, well, God's not going to want you, not after what you've done with the church for all those years. The devil's a liar. The devil is a liar. Don't believe that. If the devil's telling you God doesn't want you, you know that God does. Oh, I tell you, there's some exciting days ahead, really. Some incredibly exciting days ahead. What I'm trying to do with that, because I, I said yesterday, I was going to do all areas of chess, that was a free area, do 10 sets on each. <laughs> I've done five sets so far on one area. So I've booked a time in for the gym tonight and <laughs> I'm going to try and do 20 sets there. I'll finish off the five on the area that I'm doing indoors. Um, I'll do the extra five on that and then I'll go to the gym and do those there. I'll probably do some with cable crossover. Probably do uh, equivalent of flat bench with the cable crossover and then do raised bench with just on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. I need God to help me with strength over that. Yeah. Yeah. But, folks, well, oh. yeah. We've got some incredibly phenomenal times coming. We really, really have. Yeah. Well, right. I said about uh, spending time with God with praise and worship and Bible study. For a couple of weeks for me it was Bible study. Now it's moved on to praise and worship. At some point it's going to be probably back to a bit of both, to a mixture of both. But you know, now it's very much praise and worship. It's focusing really on those three songs. Occasionally I put shuffle on to just bring any other song into it. So I've got quite a lot of Christian music. So, oh, that's been cool over the years collecting bits and bobs. I doubt I've got the albums of For Him on Casting Crowns and couple of third days I've got the well hits I've got the well worship I've got um, other ones as well um, but that's cool yeah that's good got some good music very important certainly for your praise and worship you need some good songs for that you need ones that speak to you it's no good just going for ones that other people like you need ones that speak to you you know, ones that are going to really 
have an impact on you and get you to focus on God. Well, because that uh, God is with us song. Normally when I do praise and worship, certainly in churches and stuff like that, my arms are down. I'm not one of these people that raises arms and this, all this sort of stuff. You know, well, especially if I've been working out arms and knackers. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be doing that. It's sort of, ouch, ouch, can I put them down there, Lord? <laughs> but to that song, that's naturally what I've been doing. It's got that oomph to it. It's got incredible power to that song. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe that's a change that's happened. I don't know. I'm not against it. I'm not against it if it's real. I'm against it if it's fake. I'm against anything if it's fake. Yeah, all this stuff where people like... Um, I was having a conversation the other day. I'm not sure who it was. So I'm not going to try and name who it was because I can't remember who it was. Um, speaking about the fact of baptism of the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. And the person mentioned about the gifts of tongues. Um, that's a prime example of people faking it. And it's highly demonic when people do that. You can't do it. Really, really bad. Not a good idea in any way, shape or form. Over the years, I, I can't verify this by actual, that I've been there when it happens, but I was told by someone what happens, who knows about witchcraft. He said that with churches that are quite loose with their tongues, the devil will, will put witches in that church to curse a church in a foreign tongue, you know, in a sort of demonic tongue. But it never gets challenged in those churches because they don't go according to scripture with regards to tongues. Talking about raising hands, talking about being, yeah, praising God in, in the way that... So tongues does come into that, of course. That's all a part of the spiritual gifts. Weirdly though, when I, when I was a young Christian, that was being pushed by a lot of churches as being the most important gift. It's the least of the gifts. Tongues is the gift that is self-edifying. All the other gifts are supposed to edify others. Whereas tongues is self-edifying. Now, for your relationship with God, tongues is fantastic. Desire that. Yeah. Certainly, yes, for your relationship with God, Desire the gifts that are going to help you to develop your relationship with God, help you to connect with the kingdom. So tongues is a good one for them. Basically have your spirit connect directly and more powerfully with the spirit of God. Cool, go for that. Yeah. I, I said to God about it, I was going through some stuff earlier. I was trying to find out about the not of this world. Yeah, because I looked online to find out what scriptures. Easy that way. That, that wasn't very useful. So because I've written about it before, I looked at what I'd written before. And yeah, up, up there on my um, saved stuff is the Back to Christian Basics thing that I was writing years ago. And the question came, should I continue that? I haven't done anything to it for got to be about 10 years. It's just been left for about 10 years. Even the Christian writings, the one about uh, not in this world, all that stuff, that was all previous. Yeah, about 10 years, previous to me moving up to Scotland. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do because I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it unless God tells me to do more of it. Well, because I'm doing these videos anyway. I'm speaking about stuff anyway. If there's anything that God gives that I can write down that could be useful in that way, then I will do so. Um, 
But I think that was, when I was writing that, I think that was more therapy for me <laughs> at the time. Or, yeah, that sort of thing, really. It was quite useful for me. But now, yeah, I'm hopefully moving into a different thing, which would be good. Right. Hi. Yeah, so getting back to what I was saying previously, yeah, if you are someone who has been praying for somebody, keep praying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure God's going to do something, so keep praying for that person. Yeah. Start walking out in your relationship with God. Start testing your faith. Start moving to the point where you can trust God with all your heart. Where you can love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. So when that person, when God starts moving, you can be there for that person, but you can be an example of God's love. Yeah, because put it this way: you start loving God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and God's love is going to flow through you to others. That's the reality. Oh, I mean, first of all, I mean, I would say. The fact that the person last night said, my God, you know, you seem incredibly happy. Part of it is because of my relationship with God. It's not just the fact that God has put in my heart this woman. It's my relationship with God. And the fact that, you know, God is blessing me like he has today. With when I was doing that video. That, that was just fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. And that's the thing. God wants to do that. God wants to bless you. So, make yourself available for that. Yeah. Move into a place where God can do that. Quite often with us, it, it is a case where we've just moved ourselves into a position which makes it difficult for us to receive from God. But we just have to move out of that position, don't we? So, may God help you to do so. May God help you to realise what you need to do to be able to receive from him and then receive. Bye. One sec. I got lost for a second there, but turned around because there's a woman behind me with a dog. Did it be honest, suddenly she was there. So you, you were quiet. <laughs> but you and your dog were incredibly quiet. So I just had to look around for a second and realise where I was. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. It's a nice day, put it that way. It's a very nice day. Yeah. It's quite fresh. It's not that cold either. Really. Hi. Now, as, now, as I said earlier, with regards to the one I was doing indoors, one other thing that is exciting is the point of not necessarily stepping fully into ministry, but, you know, slightly stepping gently into something, but praying and seeing God work. Exactly what that's going to be, I do not know, because the, I'm only recently started going to a church. I'm not going to try and step up in that church and start doing anything, because it's not my place to do so. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm a new member at the church, so therefore, you know. Yeah. In the end, that pastor is the one who gets to decide the destination of that church, and, you know, who does what in it, really, because, well, he's the overseer of that church, isn't he? So, yeah. But it's just a case of trusting God, be led, um, learn to listen. That's the point about being led, learn to listen. Learn to listen to people, learn to listen to God. Same thing, well, if you're listening to people, you're more likely to be able to hear God. 
because you're listening, you're not speaking. So that's good. Learn to hear what people are saying. Playing again? Away, so you'll be able to hear me rather than just that. Pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly what God wants to do, or what, how, if He wants to use me. Yeah, where He wants to use me, I don't know. Time will tell. It's not about anything like that. It's not about me saying it has to be this way, it has to be that way. It's not me saying, okay, go and do what you need to do. Do what you want to do. I'm available. If you want to use me, just make sure I know it's you. Yeah? And I'll be quite happy to stand up and be used. Yeah? You want me to pray for someone, I'll do that. Yeah, if you want me to share something, I'll share it. Now we're playing over there. I'm going to have to phone up the um, Army Air from just say, excuse me, when I'm coming out to do videos, would you mind keeping your planes indoors, please? Land them, wait until I've finished, then let them out. Then they can go out to play. Otherwise, no, they make too much noise. They're just darned inconsiderate. <laughs> I'm sure they would say, yeah, don't worry, we do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, like them, they need training all the time. So do we. So do we. We who are saved need training all the time. We need to be trained by God constantly. Same as they need to go out all the time. Because when called upon, the people that call upon them need to know that they know exactly what they're doing and they're able to do it, without question. Same as we need to do for God. Yeah, that's the reality. They're trained to serve. We are going to be trained to serve. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. At the moment, it's training time. Yeah, at some point, God's going to take the wheels off. <laughs> yep. And during that time, you fall off the bike sometimes, but you get back on again. Aye. Indeed. This one's going to take some editing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you take care. God bless. I will speak to you soon. Yeah. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.